What's up my bonsai friends? Today I will be showing you how I collected this tree. So this tree I got two years ago and it was sitting in the my parents-in-law uh, back in the garden in a place where they, it was very neglected. It, you will see in the collected uh, videos, you see some pictures of it, how neglected this tree was. And uh, Ari, was my father-in-law, was planning to throw this tree away. And I said, uh, no, don't throw it away, this old uh, juniper. I might be able to save it and uh, make it into a bonsai. So I place it into this container as you see on this video right now. So today I will be this two years later, uh, the tree has a lot of time to recover and as you can see uh, there has a lot of new foliage and the power of a juniper tree and the help of it comes from the foliage. So this tree is very healthy again and today I'm going to show you some ideas on uh, what we can do with this very I think complicated material but I think it has a lot of potential so first thing I will do I was starting to very take a look at this tree see where the nicest uh, the body the, the base of the tree is situated so it has a beautiful trunk base right here where the roots go around each other uh, and it has the most wide spread of the roots on uh, this side of the tree. So here we can see more or less what I want the, the front of the tree. This will be a little bit the, the base. It has very nice movement and uh, a lot of curvature and all the branches and trunks are intertwining each other here on this kind of cool line and you can see here 
this branch that goes around the main trunk and I will make a dead wood feature of that branch and and I think I will use this trunk over here this branch as one uh, trunk and I will make kind of a clump style tree and I will start eliminating this kind of branches because as you can see this branch is like all almost a straight line and of course I can bend this and compact this but I I don't want to bend this too much and bring this closer I think I will just get rid of this kind of straight branches and the tree already has a lot of nice dead wood features that and you can see also another trunk branch here which is very thick and very straight and again I can bring so give some movement to this branch but yeah it still very leggy and uh, the foliage all on the top so I like this branch because it's still kind of thin and has compact uh, foliage around it so we can uh, make this into a new trunk line or we'll eliminate this one this one and probably also this one and the main one on the back and then we'll have uh, like a tree a uh, clump style uh, tree with uh, three or four uh, trunks that goes up from one uh, from the bottom of the tree. So let's start with that. Alright, it is almost 10.30 at night and this tree is a hell of a job, it's a lot of work, especially the stell that I'm trying right now, I think I underestimate a little, so I'm working since 8 o'clock tonight, it's already 2-3 hours later, almost 2.5 hours later, but at least I have today set the structural wire so I we have now the structural set tree I changed the table so that you can see the front will be right where you're looking at and the tree will moving will be moving to this way to the left I have this trunk as the defining branch and then we have like seven trunks in total this one as the first one second one uh, this one to give a little bit balance to the left 
and then I still need to place this one over here so we have the fourth six seven and the middle one so there's one two three four five six seven so I have this trunk as the defining branch and you might be difficult to see how the tree will turn out but once we start wiring the secondary and tertiary branches you get a better idea on what would the tree will look like and this bag that i place on the top is for me to visualize better the tree as a whole this technique i learned from peter chen from england and he if you put a white bag on top of a branch before you're removing it your brain will already see as if the branch were not there so you can before you completely remove it you can see if it's a good decision or not before you actually remove the branch because once you remove it it's very difficult especially by a species like this to grow a thick branch like that uh, another again so today i'll have this for now and i will uh, tomorrow i will start with the secondary and tertiary branches and uh, and i'm really excited about this tree because it's starting to really get a great shape and it will be a nice uh, clump style trees will be my first tree that i will style like this and i can wait to see the end result <laughs> So I thought yesterday I was ready with the structural wire but I still needed to wire this branch over here as you can see and now I really have the structure set so we have in total one two three four five six seven trunks and first I wanted to reduce the height of the middle trunk but I think I like it the the height and I will probably use more of the height of this tree and now I can really start wiring every branch on every trunk so that we can get more definition so let me put this some of these branches aside so that you can see the structure and I also wire some of the gen features to the other side to the opposing side of the movement of the tree another thing that i do did is making this shari here in the middle this was the very straight section so by making two shards i give the illusion of a turn and i will probably make another one more on this side or higher on the tree so that we have uh, also creates more movement in the middle trunk so i will now start with the uh, detail wire So we are now heading towards the final phase of the first iteration of this tree. So as you can see here, I already wired a lot of the secondary and tertiary branches. And I was also able to give some movement to the main trunk here above. And I define the defining branch is this one here. I still have to wire a lot but I wanted to wait with that before I define how tall the tree will be so I made this uh, gin on the top here and 
the apex will be somewhere uh, on this area here of the main trunk and I already have the back the tree already set and one thing to keep in mind is once you commit it to a design you have to uh, stick with it and try to go through it at least I think that's the best way to approach it and on the way you uh, make the design better and better doing the wiring and uh, doing the, the, um, the styling so one thing that I also changed was a little bit the angle so I really commit to this going into this direction coming towards me uh, here so I'm very excited to go into this final phase and see how the end result uh, looks like. So let's uh, start uh, doing that. Let me show you how far we are right now. So this is the front of the tree. And I managed to set the these three trunks. And there's one on the back. I'm still working on it. But the first three are almost all done, or at least almost done. I, we can place a little bit with more detail after I finish wire everything. And then we're going to come back and uh, see if we can cut these pieces off to have more clean lines. And what's difficult about this tree is that the foliage is very leggy. So I hope I have now will try to work with this foliage for now, but maybe in the future we'll have to change the foliage of the tree. But my, and also maybe with the right within a bonsai container it might grow more compact uh, foliage. So we'll see for that and I have the I kept the main trunk tall and i will create here the apex the apex of the tree so the next step is finishing up the remaining three trunks on the back so this one is almost finished and also this one we need a few branches to wire and then the this one on the back needs still a lot of work and then we will come back and finish the tree with the apex but I will uh, continue tomorrow By finishing all the detail wire of the lower trunks so all the six lower trunk I already put uh, the most of the wire there are of course a branch here and there that still needs some wiring but um, almost all of them already is wired and I place the camera right now right in front of the tree so that you can see how I am forming this tree so the last step, I will do it uh, tomorrow, will be to wire uh, the apex of the tree. And this has to be very detailed. It will fill in this area. This might look a little bit weird now because there is a lot of negative space here. Empty space on this side of the tree, on this side. So we will fill it in with uh, the remaining branches, this space to create a nice apex of the tree 
and then the last step will be to um, do a little bit of really detailed uh, pruning and wire and setting the branches on the right I might during the process of wiring touch a branch and move it to the wrong side so uh, tomorrow we can uh, also finish in places correctly all the branches So here we have arrived at the final stage of this first styling of this tree and as you can see I have placed everything down and uh, we have uh, uh, pushed every wire almost every branch and uh, that we used and the last step for now is really to come back and try to make clean lines and uh, with uh, pruning scissors I'm gonna uh, go through it and see what we can remove another thing that I'm doubting about now that everything is now that I set up the apex is this big dead wood on the top I think it's very distracting from the harmonious design that I created so I will probably, I will think about it, look a little bit to it and I probably will remove it. Let me know in the comment if you would have kept this off, if you would remove this uh, gin. So I now I will set up the structure and I will come back and we will have one last uh, talk. So here we are at the end result of this tree. Sorry about the noise, there is a fire going on. So I'm really excited to show you the end result of this first uh, styling. I really enjoy working on this tree and in what seems to be an impossible material and tree we got a lot of uh, I think it, I'm very happy with this end result just came back and prune a little to get this uh, uh, more clean lines on the tree sometimes you can just push the foliage a little bit up So I removed also the main uh, gin here. Yeah, I think it looks better now because it has a very harmonious design. So the main trunk and everything is going to this side. So it harmony to the, the entire design. So, and I wanted to show you, uh, I really like this uh, species, like the, the juniper because of, uh, of what you can do with it and of course you can it has a lot of different approach how you can uh, do something like that I could do like a small tree I could only use the main trunk uh, I could use only uh, the, the small trunks so that's the nice thing about bonsai you can really um, yeah use your creativity and do whatever you like for me for this material i saw the possibility of creating uh yeah taking out the maximum of it could get give me so i try to use as much as possible what the 
three hairs. So I use all the seven trunk creating a clump style. And in the beginning it seemed a little bit overwhelming, all the different branches, but you just have to take step by step, first wire the first branch and then once you have the main concept design, you stick to it and uh, you can uh, finish the result. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this uh, first styling. And for me, uh, it was the challenge was the main trunk in the middle because it has a lot of straight lines to it. So that's why I tilted to the left and I made this uh, dead wood features on the trunk so that we have the illusion of movement and I was able to with a thick wire manage to give some movement on the top of the tree and it was difficult uh, to uh, during this video for you maybe if you are a beginner to visualize where we were heading towards uh, yeah, but you can think in your head a little bit in uh, yeah, triangles, so you create like a triangle shape all over uh, the tree, so also in the branches, in the trunks. And I try to create also different heights. So this has a different height as this one, and then as this one, maybe I will show you uh, like this, so that you have a better picture to it so and then the apex was also a difficult part to finish where would be the height of the tree and in the future I can always see what will be better to do maybe we can uh, decrease the height of the tree or uh, or maybe we can uh, do even more and uh next spring i will be uh, reporting uh, this tree so uh, follow me if you want to see also the report of this tree i will keep you posted about this tree so uh, in the uh, spring of next year we will have a nice spot of course uh yeah there is a chance that uh, some branches wouldn't want to survive and it, it we have done quite a heavy work on it if you see I will show you a before uh, video right now how it looked before we really transformed this tree and I think we will we'll get away with it and I think this tree is very uh, hardy and it was uh, had a, it has a lot of health it will uh, get better soon and uh, we'll have more growth and then I will try to manage and compact the foliage uh, by pruning it and I hope to get more compact foliage because this type of foliage right now it's very difficult to work with so we we'll have uh, in the future yeah try to have more uh, compact foliage and if it doesn't work out we can always choose maybe to graft for now I chose to work with the foliage because I think we can get a more compact uh, foliage in the future especially once we, we put it in a bonsai container enjoy the end video on how it turned out right now and if you like this video like and leave a comment if you think I uh, should do something and if you have any questions uh, you can ask also below and I see you next time and I hope you enjoy it